What is good, Wavy Navy? It's Woo, and we finna get wavy. You dig? Real, yo, I had to shine for me. Okay, my money, fuck you up. Fuck, we talking big bucks. Yo, I got a dump of truck full of expensive stuff. Yeah. My game, the fuck you. So, today in this video, we are going to be reacting to celebrities walking out of interviews. You know, I feel like sometimes. It just gets overwhelming. Everybody wants to know your business. You don't know what to answer. You don't know how to answer it because the media will take it one way or they'll take it another way. Now you're like a bad person. You lost fans. It's just a whole lot of stuff where it just, it can go either way. So we're going to watch the video, see rappers walking out of interviews and the reason why. So yeah, before we begin into the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe so I can know y'all really, really, really enjoy these videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Thank you. <coughs> so yeah. How do you know him? I rock with him. I feel like, you know, we speak the same language. Like, he wanted me. We just from different areas. And how did you connect with him? How did you discover his music? Like I say, like, I felt like he wanted me. So, you know, everything, all in place. Look, man, at this point, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Um, you know, looking at all your, your cases and everything you've been through, and I know the recent one right now is very sensitive. And with respect to, you know, everybody involved in that case, you know, we can't get into details today. Um, but, you know, we take sexual assault here serious and we can't, you know, uh, get into details, but we hope, you know, to have you back so we can have a, a deeper conversation about that because, you know, it's a serious topic and we're hearing these stories a lot. Um, one thing we were talking about on the show today that for some reason I just have a hunch that you would care about is the idea that landing on the moon was a conspiracy. Kodak, do you believe that our moon landing in 1969 actually took place? What the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you seem upset that I brought it up. I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like me going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's like, change the subject, I'm gonna walk out. We we'll change which subject? Just whatever, like. Well, so they tried to change the subject. They was talking about the moon landing. That's bullshit too. So uh -huh. talk about something else. Well, I was saying, I, I think well, we I don't have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, we're going. Say this. That's a bummer. Uh, I don't know. I don't, people won't tell me what. You know, your balls, the balls. I was, I was actually saying the bigger the. Before we get into Liz Khalifa, like, that case is a simple subject. We don't know if he did something or if he did it. So for you to sit here and just be like, let's talk about it. Like, can, can, can we get the case over with? Can I prove myself, like, before we get anything? And then you can't even really speak on cases when they're open. That can't even get you in trouble. So for that, for the person who, in, who was interviewing him to even just jump on that subject, it's like why and then saw that he got frustrated was getting frustrated and continued to go back to it and i feel like that the um the other co-star of that radio show he knew that his his peer was not supposed to be doing all that so he tried to change the subject but he couldn't really get it to work that's why he couldn't really say nothing like, come on, bro. Y'all have to respect people's privacy. Yeah, there are celebrities. They put themselves on a public platform. But everything they go in their life, is, they don't have to t tell y'all anything, honestly. They tell y'all what they want you to know. Not what they feel like you should know. Like, come on. These people still have lives. Let, let, them, let them be at peace, please. They're regular people just with money. Bill, the harder you ball. Oh, <laughs> like balling. It makes much more sense. Here in Denmark, uh, most people still know you from your smash hit in the club. Uh, can you tell me the story about that hit? 
What song is that? Like, you see me in the club, the club is full of balls. Isn't that how it goes? That's not me. Isn't it you? Oh, that's that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm, I'll, I just think we should move on. Yeah, totally. You're originally from Pittsburgh? Yeah. It, it seems like he was trying to make this like funny, but without Wiz Khalifa knowing. They could have faked it. But it's like, now you're making him mad. He could have made it also funny if you would have just let him know, but you did it. So that's why it seems awkward. How was it growing up in Canada? Dumbass <laughs> again. Dumbass? Yeah. Oh, it's just because, you know, Pittsburgh, they have this hockey team that you like. Now, I thought ice hockey was in Canada. Moving on. You're not the sharpest tool in this head, are you? No. You just wear a suit just to look like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. But you don't know shit. We kind of have the same style. No, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you know. Just do it off, man. It's over. Uh, interview's over. I, I also really have to go now. Uh, you do have to go now. But it was, you know, bye. Nice, there was nothing. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you. See? I don't get it. I do not get that. That was stupid on his part. Now he looks bad. That was. Probably the downfall of his career. Not Wiz Khalifa, but whoever was interviewing from Denmark or wherever he was from. But yeah, let's go on with Gucci Mane. I hope y'all can hear this, but basically they're asking him about um i can't remember what they was asking him about but i don't know let's i don't know all right well they're gonna let him do it no the dude over here the dude that was sitting right here he said that he, i got something i need to see him by seven o'clock right, what do you want to do why they go back on the air right now what's going on what's going on what the hell what the hell was that where we're from we're from the middle of the, you know, we're from the midwest so like everyone's like machine gun and then there's me you know what i mean like what's up I'm here to pick my kid up like it's so i wanted to make her proud you know what i mean and a lot of fans saw that as like you know was it soft or is this it's just like no it's the most it's the most beautiful thing you could do this is my i'm not it's, this is my gift as a, as a father to my daughter like yeah. here's something like you can listen to that like still has my pain in it and still like is teaching you something that I want you to know so I to me that was you know I'm not that great of a speaker I can't speak I'm, I don't like watching my own interview I think I suck at talking but like one thing I can do is move my pen and like if that's how I got to speak to my daughter then like let me do that I, I, you know, I, 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 dude, I've done this so many times, dude. Can we just? I don't want to do an interview, man. Can, hey. can we just do, like? I don't. MGK. Like, I'm gonna let my music speak. From I don't have shit to say. I've been saying listen. shit for years, dude. Like, man, y'all listen. Like, I, listen to my fucking songs. MGK. I love you. Listen, I love you. I love you. Listen, I love you. Listen, I love you. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Listen. That's what I'm talking to. Listen, we're so excited for your music. Love. In 2019. Thank you. Say, 18. Message, what's your message to your fans? I'm coming. And message to my enemies. I'm coming. Throw it down. I mean, I understand, you know. If, I don't know. I, I can't even say that. I just feel like people put celebrities on such a high pedestal that they feel like they can't have feelings. They gotta have tough skin. But you gotta realize, before the fame, they was just like everybody else, walking around with no money, trying to do something that they love. That's what y'all gotta realize. Like, and y'all be so judgmental. But like, can you even afford to judge them? Just let's just be real here. Can you afford to judge them? You live in paycheck to paycheck, but you want to take your precious time to comment under a celebrity's post and say, "Oh, you shouldn't be doing this." Oh, look how they look. You, you're a dead, you're a deadbeat. You, you don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do that. Raise your kids this way. Stop posting this. Why did you get this surgery? Did why she so big? Why she that? Why you can't afford to say anything? They can probably buy your life. 
and you want to fix your mouth to say something? Are you serious? Wow. That's the crazy part. Uh, yeah, y'all need to get y'all stuff in check. Because let's not forget, we is regular people. And they, once upon a time, was regular people. People. Let's 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 think here. Let's use these things in our skulls. That's kind of that's called a brain. It actually does a lot when you actually use it. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay litty, stay wavy. It is wavy, and I am out.